Hello and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And in this spotlight, we're going to be covering the Utilization Monitor mod. Uh, this one is another type of mod very similar to uh, something like Bottleneck or Production Statistics. Uh, and I'm covering it just because it, it, it handles things a little bit differently in the fact that it shows things in a percentage rather than just a color. Uh, in some ways that's good, in other ways it's not good, uh, and we're going to cover that uh, here. So uh, you'll see that the text is a little small here, but that every uh, machine, uh, furnaces, assemblers, chem plants, everything basically has uh, a little percentage next to it in white, and uh, you can change this color if you'd like, uh, and it will show a percentage. Um, and you can see some of these are varying, so like these are all zero, these are 40, these two go between 39 and the 40, as do these, this one and this one are 52%. Um, and this basically is just calculating how much the machine is actually working um, properly in, in a span of time. So uh, basically they display for the last 60 seconds, uh, configurable by type, which I'll show you here shortly. Uh, 60 seconds is the default, um, except for reactors, which is 1200 seconds. Um, or 20 minutes, but 100% utilization basically means the building was fully working at every single tick in the last 60 seconds. Um, and uh, so buildings on like low power will show a corresponding reduction in, uh, in utilization as well as item shortages, overfills, or any other condition keeping the building from working its peak performance. Um, so basically this just indicates anything that is keeping a building from working fully. Uh, the advantage to this is you can get more of an exact rate than you could with like bottleneck. The disadvantage is you don't know right away what is actually causing the problem. So a bottleneck, you know, there's a different colors like green, red, orange, um, or maybe some others depending on like if it's input um, shortage or output, um, you know, problems or there's not enough power, etc. Um, where this one just doesn't really show that. Uh, now, usually it's pretty easy to figure that out. So for example, these that are running at 40%, um, we can take a quick look and notice, oh, well, they're backed up on copper, or you could even just probably notice that with even, without even opening the machine, um, since these are only working at 50% due to a lack of iron, which means they're not working all the time, about half the time, and that means that this is backed up, which means these are working even less than half the time. These are obviously zero because they're not even on. Uh, this is zero because it's all backed up. Uh, and this is just kind of, I think, an interesting look at things in a percentage rate um, in terms of how much your machines are actually working. So you'll see here, so this is like a good sign. These uh, first few red circuit machines are working 100%. Over the last minute, they have been on 100% of the time. They've not been bottlenecked um, by input or output or electricity. Um, so, you know, this is like a really nice indicator. Okay, awesome. These are working fantastic. Uh, and then this one here uh, has not been working fully, almost 99%. Uh, this one here is zero uh, because, again, there's just no green circuits, which we tracked back previously. So you can just kind of tell uh, this, you know, this helps just give kind of more of a exact rate, just not necessarily what the cause is. Um, and in the mod settings, we have all different kinds. So enable, which we probably want. Um, always calculate energy effect. So basically, um, this is just saying if this is this disabled, which it is by default. This is only done if the machine is in low power state, but the state only triggers at less than 90.9 energy. Um, enabling this increases overhead slightly every tick for a minor improvement in accuracy and power situations greater than 90.9 and less than 100. So I don't think this is super useful or really needed rather, um, but you can turn it on if you want. Uh, maximum updates per tick, um, basically how often it updates. And then seconds to average over for everything furnace, uh, basically every entity. Um, seconds, uh, so you can change this if you want it faster, slower, average, or longer, shorter. Um, and then color labels that are still spooling up. So initially when you load this up, um, or when you first place down machines, um, the percentage will be in orange, which means that they're still calculating an average. And then the ones in white, which we have now, because I let this sit, are labels that are accurate. And like I said, you can change this if you'd like. Um, to something that's maybe a little easier to see for you. Um, so I don't know, maybe green would be easier. Um, 
So we're going to do that, and that may require, so there we go, it took a second, but there you go. So this is actually probably a little easier to see. It's a little neon as well, especially at night it's easier, um, and you can change, change those as you like. Obviously no research, and that's a mod. Um, so I just think it's kind of cool, an interesting alternative. Uh, it would be nice if um, the percentages maybe change color based on what the problem was. So it's like a good combination between bottleneck and a percentage, and then you just could configure each set of colors basically um i think that would be like a great feature but anyway i still think it's interesting as always there's a link in the description to the mod portal page we can check this out if you'd like any thoughts and questions do leave below as always if you did enjoy a like is appreciated and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up with all future content until next time i look forward to seeing you all and do take care